What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you if you can flash the AOSPA extended ROM which is this one let me show you as you can see this is the AOSPA extended ROM and this is about 1.1 GB and you can read out the change logs from here and I'll try to flash this ROM I'm on the latest Evolution X ROM as you are seeing over here this is the latest evolution x 15th june 2020 build and this asp extended is the 25th june 2020 build so i'll try to flash it and show you guys how to flash it and if you can boot from this rom because i'm on the latest 12.009 vendor but in the xda thread of this rom there is mentioned that you need the 11.0.7 miui vendor but this rom is based on oss vendor so it will just replace the like stock vendor whatever you have so let me just boot into the recovery so as you can see i'm currently on the latest orange fox recovery version r10.1 underscore 3 so i'll try to flash this rom with this particular recovery before doing anything make sure you have a backup to a separate pc or something of your important files because if anything goes wrong with your device, I am not going to be responsible for that. You are going to be responsible for that. So now the first step which I am going to do is go to wipe. Then I will select Talvik, cache, system, vendor and data. I will select all these things and I will swipe to wipe. So right now I will just go to the download folder. Now from this download folder, I will select this PA quads for Rafael 25th June 2020 build which I have downloaded already. Now I will select add to queue. And then I'll select a GApps which is this nano open GApps. I'll select this and then add to queue again because I need to flash this if crypt disabler otherwise my storage will get encrypted because I, my storage right now is already decrypted. So I'll select this if crypt disabler and I'll swipe to confirm flash. Now here if your TWRP recovery or the orange box recovery asks for password you won't need the if crypt disabler. Keep that in mind. So the ROM flashing is done and right now it's flashing the GApps. Now it's flashing the FCrypt Disabler and it's rebooting automatically because I had that option selected that like after flashing it will reboot automatically. So here we have the pretty cool looking boot animation. Seems like we are already into the setup wizard so let me just set up the ROM. And while I'm setting up the ROM, let me, okay, so the touch is not really responsive. Let me just lock the phone. Okay, now it's working. Now, let me mention one thing that if you are going to another ROM like Evolution X again, which needs the MIUI vendor, then you need to do one thing that you wipe the same way like cache, Dalvik system, data and vendor, wipe those five things. And after that, you flash the latest MIUI vendor which is the 12.009 if that vendor is needed for a particular ROM then flash that vendor then flash the ROM and the like other files like fcrypt disabler gapps etc if it needs then flash all of those again but if you are moving from OSS vendor ROM to a like MIUI vendor ROM you have to flash the MIUI vendor again so keep that in mind let's see if it registers the fingerprint over here by the way this ROM has the Mi 9 FOD So it did register my right hand thumb fine. There is a tad bit of screen flickering which I have been noticing while like tapping the fingerprint scanner here. But that's very minor. So the volume panel seems pretty interesting as you are noticing here. It gives me a little bit of haptic feedback whenever I am swiping up or down on the volume panel. And I can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here. So finally we are successfully into the UI and I think this is a pixel launcher or something. To the left we have this Google's discover page. Let me see which launcher is this. Okay so this is actually a paranoid launcher as you can see and it does not have much customizations it just has this icon pack which is the only option by default is the default then we have the google app option and allow home screen rotation and then add icons to the home screen and notification dots that's it no other customizations are there for the stock launcher and let me see the stock camera here okay so the camera just opened once okay seems like this is the old kind of google camera i am worried to switch to the front camera with this camera it might get stuck pretty sure but let's just do it. 
ओके ओके वर्क इट डिड नॉट लाइक गेट द कैमरा स्टक ओवर देयर I have seen this thing like happening with this kind of old Google stock camera and these are all the apps you get well this Pixar it just downloaded i guess and this retro music okay it is there by default and then we have this abstract i think this is a wallpaper kind of thing yeah as you can see this is a collection of 60 wallpapers and then one plus wallpapers a lot of wallpapers are there i guess as you can see by default you can choose between a lot of wallpapers from here and here inside the android version we have the android version as 10 of course as you can see and the paranoid android version over here it says quads 4 and then the security patch is latest of 5 june 2020 then we have the stock kernel as immensity kernel which says mi 9 fod i can disable heads up notification from here let me just disable the dark theme so that you guys can see it better in the system panel if i go advanced we do have a system updater over here and here if i check for updates and as you can see it is taking for updates but of course this is supposed to be the latest build as you can see it says the last check time over here so that's cool let me go back we have the gestures option so we have some things over here like screen of gestures we have the double tap to wake device so that's cool let me go back we have the toggle torch so i'll enable that in system navigation gestures we have this android 10 gesture if i go here we have this kind of settings over here you can change the gesture bar size to it is set to large because i restored my google app data backup and full screen gesture is there if you want to hide this pill too you can do that swipe quick screenshot is there let me enable and take a screenshot and as you can see this is the oxygen os kind of screenshot we have the scrolling option then edit option and then share and delete options are there let me just double tap here Okay, it is waking up the device now. Let's see the fingerprint scanner speed. It unlocked. Now let's try with the left thumb. Unlocked pretty fast. Let me show you from up close. Let's go to the home screen and show you. Holy smokes! The fingerprint scanner speed is blazing fast. Show you from up close again. Yeah, really, really fast. So yeah that's how you flash this AOSP extended rom on the Redmi K20 Pro this was my first impressions about this rom and do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the full review of this rom on the Redmi K20 Pro I'll be back with the full review of this rom pretty soon so do stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching this video again this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today I'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now